so the book i want to talk about the book rather you know there's so much else to talk about but as far as book is concerned um uh, can you hear me can you hear me okay it's not any closer <coughs> so as far as the first of all what is the book about we should talk first about that because otherwise you know uh the book is a discovery it, it presents a discovery of original findings of uh anti indian civilizational uh discourse which we're calling poison being emanated from some of the biggest think tanks in the world and we focused on harvard because that is the big we call it the nest of snakes where they're producing these snakes and spreading them from there and so the book talks about who are the snakes what type of people are they uh, they are largely indians and what kind of them are they researchers students activists journalists government leaders uh corporate people ias people being trained there so there's a large variety of snakes so you know you can have random data point here there 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 doesn't make any sense so that's not what the contribution of the book is it's not a lot of data points because you all come across a whole lot of them the the what the book has i believe achieved is of what had been a goal is first come up with what is the theoretical framework that unifies all of this stuff that's going on in other words what's the dna of the poison what is the tatva or the dna of the poison itself and what is its history how it originated where it originated and how it evolved over time and ended up being this particular kind of ideology so it's a it's a history and th theoretical framework of the ideology itself which is a very unified ideology the whole point is to show you that all these sporadic things that you are all complaining about are not sort of random things they all come from a common cohesive well thought out ideological framework that is not trivialized you cannot trivialize it it's a it's a point of view it's a metaphysics that's quite profound uh, we have problems with it but it is quite profound and unless you understand it then you are just fighting fires here and there so that is one thing the book does is to d establish a theoretical framework of the the large variety of things coming out second thing it does is it looks at the how this framework is being used to come up with one product another product another product so as vijaya said there may be something about pronouns there may be something about cancel culture there may be something about anti brahmins there may be something about anti iit which is what i'll focus on uh, so there's a whole lot of things that seem like uh, are completely unrelated you'd wonder what does anti iit have to do with pronouns or what does uh, you know something uh, which is attacking uh you know a certain civilization and a certain history what does it have to do with some rituals we had doing or what does it have to do with some anything else but it does so the unifying factor is very important for you because you are theorists you are theoretical people uh, in your training so you have a model you have a theoretical model and then you can have many many instances and applications of that model and un and only when you understand the the science behind a certain thing you can develop the engineering and the technologies because they're all based on that so there is a theoretical framework which is very unified that the, uh, the people at harvard and so on have developed and that this book explains and and gives a rebuttal to it uh, th and then it tells you how the what is the mechanism by which this this uh, framework is being deployed to produce many many kinds of products and then the third thing it does is it looks at what is the machinery and infrastructure being used for all this work who is behind it who funds it uh, a, a, and so on and then finally how does it all land up in india uh, why should you care how does it land up in india so there's four parts what's the theory what are its applications what is the underlying engine the infrastructure which is producing this work and how is it exported to india and how where does it end up so unless unless you get all this the book hasn't done its job you know you so that's really what it's about now while the size is scary you don't have to read the whole book it's written so that if you read the introduction which is 30 40 pages then you read the one page overview of every chapter just one page overview gives you the the essence the out the what is the takeaway message what is the summary of that chapter that's all you need to do 
and you will understand 100% of what the book is trying to say. Then th the rest of each chapter, the details of each chapter are the proof. So you know you have a theorem and then you go through a long proof. So if you just want to understand what are the claims we are making, you read the introduction and you read the overview for every chapter. That's li all of it is 60, 70, 80 pages and you will understand the whole thing. Then you can read any chapter in any sequence. It is they're independently written. So chapter four is on the attack on IIT and our review of that attack and our response to it. Now you can read just that chapter. You don't have to read something else if you don't want to. This is why the while while so it's uh, multiple books, multiple levels in one book. The reason it's done this way is uh, while most people need to read 100 pages, 150 pages. Uh, the point is they have all the backup and how other things are related. So as you get deeper in the conversation, you will not be stranded. You will not take a s position and then find out you don't know how to back it up. You can go to the book and back it up because we have over 1600 references, uh, over 100 pages of bibliography. So there is a lot of backup you can rely on with confidence because we're quite sure of that. This is why it's written at, the, at one level for anyone to read very quickly and understand and, be, and participate in these debates and know when people th say something uh, weird then you can look up and you know what, why, why they're saying it, where it's coming from and what is our response to it. And then you can get, if you, as you get deeper into the debate, you can then drill deep on that particular point and get all the backup you need. So it's written in that way.